Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on angles in an isosceles triangle. Now an isosceles triangle is where two of the sides of the triangle are the same length and we usually use a mark to indicate when the sides are the same length. Sometimes you might see it with two marks and that indicates that these are both the same length again as long as they have matching numbers of marks. Now the key thing with an isosceles triangle is that if you have two lengths the same, then if you follow your fingers away from each other to these two angles here, these angles are gonna be the same. Now, this is known as the base here of the triangle, where you've got these two angles which are the same, and these are known as base angles. And we say that base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. And you should learn that phrasing there if you ever need to justify why certain angles are the same. But let's use it in this problem here. Now, if we put our two fingers on the two sides which are the same, and then allow our fingers to go away from each other until we get to two vertices, two corners, then these angles must be the same. So if that angle is 70, that angle here must also be 70. And we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So 70 plus 70 is 140. And then because angles add up to 180 in a triangle, we just do 180 minus the 140, and that gives us an angle of 40 degrees. So that is x. Now what about this second one? Again, we identify the two sides which are equal, and we let our fingers move away from each other, and we end up at these two angles here. So these angles are both y. Now, if these two angles are the same here, then what we could do is we could subtract that 30 degrees from 180, and that means the remaining angles add up to 150 degrees. Now, they're both the same angle, but they add up to 150 degrees, and therefore, we can just divide 150 by two, and that means that y is equal to 75 degrees.